Hello, lovely people. I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. And thank you so much for tuning in. It's Hila here and welcome to my channel Saturday Night Stitch. So today um, is a little bit of a mishmash. I've got some finished projects to share. I've got a little bit of a fabric haul and I'll do a little bit of a segment of where's Hila at, wherein I show you what I'm actually working on at the moment. Now it's been quite a while and where I can't believe, first of all, that we're already headed towards the summer solstice, which is probably about a week away from the time of recording this. Hopefully I managed to get this out sooner rather than later, because lately I've been finding that I've got a lot of recorded content, but it's just making time for the editing and actually posting it. Um, that's been a bit of an issue. But yeah, wow, already halfway through the year and what a wonderful year it has been um, so far. A lot of things going on with my family and with my garden, all good stuff stuff and just really really enjoying having a very joyful uh, time with my children and with my husband and I had the luck of um, having my in-laws come and visit and stay with us so we had my father-in-law for 10 days which is a real treat because he lives over in New York and we also had my mother-in-law coming uh, particularly over the half term so that was really really quite wonderful and quite nice and a lot of stuff going on with the garden as well so I'm, I'm doing a lot of joyful stuff and consequently there's a little bit less time in the sewing cave despite the fact that I am absolutely loving wearing all of the dresses that I have already made which brings me to this dress here which is a simple sew cocoon dress which is in yellow and yes it's got a lot of warm tones and this is definitely not my colors but one of the things that I did after I got my colors done was I um I went through my clothes <laughs> to separate out the ones that were in my colors and the ones that were not in my colors. And this was a process that took like several weeks and several months by the time I got to my uh, summer uh, summer wardrobe. And I could not let go of this. I could not because this is a nanny eye roll um, triple quilt, triple gauze. And this fabric, it is literally like you are surrounded by clouds just kissing your skin. It is so comfortable in a way that silk or other fabrics cannot touch. It is very, very comfortable. And because it's like a triple quilt, it also feels quite... Um, so, so like it doesn't feel flimsy but at the same time it is so light and comfortable um on me so even on the hottest of days where i'm absolutely like really hot and sweaty this is actually really comfortable to wear so i thought you know what yes the colors are not within my colors but i love this and it does have the bluey turquoisey thing so i still wear it i still wear it um and today is just such a day it's really quite nice and lovely and sunny and hot except for the few clouds that pass by so <laughs> I've been having actually a lot of fun uh, going uh, through my clothes and actually uh, putting on and I'm going to show you later on sort of like a um, a project from the pack from the vault like that I did like years ago and I've just rediscovered it and I'm absolutely loving it so do stay tuned for that. Okay so um, in terms of sewing um, I have my little sewing calendar um, over there which is puppies this year in 2022 and I looked at it, so basically I update every time that I've done any sewing, any project that I finish, I'll write it in there just so that I've got an easy record of what I'm actually doing. And initially it was done as a way of trying to keep me sewing on a regular basis, but that was too, it was creating too much of a negative mindset with, you know, like I must sew, I must sew rather than just sewing for the joy of it. So now it just evolved into something that's more like just a, a record keeping rather than a thing that is supposed to push me to have something written down every month. But surprisingly, in April, I did not get any sewing done at all in April. So there was no sewing. Um, so these are the things that I have sewn um, basically in May, May and June. So I am going to start off with the Jubilee stuff. So I did a fabric haul a few months ago about some of the Jubilee stuff. I was so excited about the Jubilee. Had a really fabulous time with it. We even made the, well, we tried to make our own version of the platinum Jubilee 
uh, pudding, which is what like a lemon Swiss roll and all that. Um, but it was too fluffy for all of the other stuff, but we made a simplified version of it. But we had such a fabulous time, really enjoyed watching the pageantry and all that and seeing all of the lovely hats and the lovely garments that were being uh, worn. So we made some bunting and this is one of the pieces of bunting. And the kids were in charge of making the bunting. So it was cutting out the rectangles and um, sewing them up. And so that was really fun. Then they got like a little assembly line going. And then we made up this bunting that we put up in the garden. And that was fabulous. I also made some Union Jack uh, fabric skirts for um, the twins and a Union Jack little flat cap uh, for my son. So the, they were having a Jubilee picnic at school and they were encouraged to come dressed in uh, red, navy and white if they wanted to. So, of course, <laughs> we went and we got some fabric and we made the little hat and we made um, the skirt. So I'll put the picture um, over there. I don't actually have the hat because my son has taken to wearing it um, every day now because he absolutely loves the little flat cap. And I used this pattern here, Birda. 9507 which is like a really great pattern because it's got all these different types of hats and I did view C over there which came together very very quickly and very easily I was quite hesitant about making it because I wasn't sure if I could pull it off but it worked out quite well so those were the jubilee things um that we made and then the next thing that I made was a, a pair of shorts for my husband uh for a birthday now I have to confess and admit that this was an unfinished project it was in the ufo box for i think probably three or four four years i think i cut it out about four years ago <laughs> and so i finally got around to finishing to finishing it and it's um oh, where are you? it's macau's m6973 and it's the shorts uh, version. So the thing about these shorts uh, is they're not quite as scary. They don't actually have a proper fly front, even though in the line drawing, it looks like there's a fly front, but it's kind of like a, a full fly front. It doesn't really work. There's a zipper, but I tend to just skip the, the, the zipper. Let me see if I can explain it to you. Uh, so these are the shorts here. Um, as you can see, they're already been worn. So these have already been washed about four times already now. I've been watched about four times already. He he quite likes them. Okay, so the pattern has got um, this thing for a fly front here. And you're supposed to put a zipper in here, but they don't have a button for you to unbutton this and zip it down. They have an elasticated band. And I think, I think the idea is that when nature calls, it's just a matter of unzipping that rather than you know, I couldn't get it around my head. So I've never actually bothered. So this is the second time I've made this and I've never actually bothered with putting the zipper in here. No, I did it on the first ones, but my husband was like, well, why is there a zipper there? But you can't actually unbutton this. So it didn't make sense for him. So with these ones, I didn't um, actually uh, do that. So I did make sure to reinforce it though, because this fabric, it's a linen blend fabric. So it's got that crumpled charm that you get from linen. So I did all of the deal with the pockets the pockets have got like this pleat thing here that you then have to um top stitch down and and all that and i did the back pocket as well and it's got hip yoke pockets so it's got a total of five pockets and then it's finished with an elasticated waist my husband quite likes them he wears them um, a lot particularly now as it has become quite sunny so that was really nice i'm trying to make a point of doing handmade gifts for each of my <laughs> family members so that's pretty um, awesome so that was those shorts that I made there. And then the other thing that I made was uh, some really lovely October design kids dresses uh, for the girls. And they got to choose this one. So these were from October 320. Oh, I I still have it here. From this issue of October um, 3, 2015. Yeah, 3, 2015. And it was the Daisy dress. Let me see if I can just quickly show you it here you go so it was that one over here and i traced out the 128 my girls are now 126 centimeters tall you know and the shoe sizes are just going up and pretty soon you know they're going to be wearing my shoes <laughs> 
but I made this dress, these dresses for them. So this is one of them. Um, the other one is downstairs and it's in this cotton poplin fabric and which is just, it's such a delight to sew with. It irons so beautifully and washes really well. So this is what the fabric looks like. This has just been laundered. It's been washed and tumble dried. So it just came out of the tumble dryer and I folded it. And I quite like that. It's easy maintenance. Of course, I can make it look more polished by actually pressing it, but beautiful. So it's got like these really cute little cap sleeves, grown on cap sleeves, right? And then it's got um, a little bit of an origami pleat here, a uh, detail, and a high empire waist, which I highlighted with some rick rack. And over at the back, it's got a zip here. And there's also some pleats over there. And I lined just the bodice. The pattern actually calls for you to line the whole dress because the recommended fabric in the magazine is a voil and batiste. So very lightweight fabric. So they recommend double doubling them up. But I didn't bother doing that. I just I just did it by hand. So this is a Liberty cotton tana lawn but i ran out so the other dress is pink all of the bodies but then i ran out and so i just used a white uh, cotton muslin uh, over here and some hand sewing around there and all that and the girls they absolutely love them they fit the only alterations that i did make was to add some pockets because pockets are everything <laughs> um so it's got some pockets there um for them to use but yeah they love them they came together so quickly they were a very very satisfying thing uh to make and they were able to wear them to school for non-uniform day and i'll insert some pictures there so that you can just see what they looked like so i made two of those um for the girls and then i actually was in the mood for doing some sewing for myself and i just i wanted something that was instant gratification and i was umming and ahhing about oh what could it be what could it be um and all and i actually made myself a simple so shannon dress another one so i made it in this really lovely bright summery uh, French terry that I bought from Fabrics for All last year because I was really frustrated that we were having a late winter. So we'd gotten up to about end of May and we were still having some hailstorm. And so I wanted terry fabrics, like sweater fabrics in summery prints so that I could make myself warmer clothes so that I could kind of feel like I'm in summer, but I'm keeping myself warm, even though it's cold. So I finally got around to using it, which is absolutely fabulous. I had 1.5 meters of it. And this um, pattern takes up exactly 1.5 meters. And I used a cotton ribbing and I love, love this dress. So the first one that I made, I made it in this zany zebra print from Minerva. So it's very safari. It's got the zebra print at the front and it's got the multiple zebras <laughs> at the back. Now, uh, for some reason, in my vast collection of sewing patterns, I misplaced this pattern and I couldn't find it. And I was just basically like, uh, I don't want to get sidetracked by trying to figure out where this pattern was. And I figured that this is a pretty simple pattern. So all I did was um, I folded it in half like this. And then I sort of placed it over on the fold and then I cut around it. And I did the same thing for the back to make sure that the neckline was done. So I basically just copied it off of this one because I cannot for the life of me find where I actually put um, the pattern. And because I wanted instant sewing gratification, I didn't want to spend the time trying to find it out and then berate myself for why my organizational skills have uh, dropped the ball. And also ended up with this really lovely, lovely one. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. I've already worn it three times already. And every time I've just been asked, oh, that's so lovely. That's a really lovely summery dress because it is so bright and it is so cheerful. So those are the things that I made. Um, not a lot, but I'm very happy to have actually done the bunting with the kids and have made them some platinum jubilee garments. And I think that, you know, we made some lovely memories with the bunting and the bunting making. So I'm just going to very quickly show you what I will be working on, which I've just... Uh, this is what I was doing last night. So I taped up the pattern for a robe. It's the Love Notions Kids Compose robe. So it was a PDF pattern. 
and I'm making this for my son. It was supposed to be a birthday present, but I didn't manage to make it in time for the birthday present. And it's using this cuddly fleece um, over here. So that's what's going to get made. So I'm hoping the last time that I made a gown uh, house coat, it didn't take that long. So I'm hoping I'll be able to do this in, in one sitting. And, oh, I did promise a fabric on you, you forgot. So uh, very small petite fabric hold is why I didn't want to do a separate video for it. But um, in my last video, I talked about how I got these uh, chambray fabrics from uh, Pound Fabrics and I really, really liked them. So I went back and I ordered some more and I received those. So I got more of the gray colorway over here and that's to make um, a shirt uh, also for my son. So um, my, he's 17 years old, starting learning how to drive. <sighs> so I'm going to make a shirt for him. We have a wedding that we're going to in the beginning of July. And yeah, so that shirt is going to be part of that, um, that he wears. And I also got the light blue, um, chambray here, which does remind me a little bit of some bed sheets, but it's a really, really lovely light blue. So not quite the denim blue, but a light blue. And then I also got some of the mint so it's like a really, really lovely pale pepperminty mint. And I, I like it. So mint is on one of my color swatches. And I'll be making, so after I am done with the Love Notions kit, Compose robe, I'm going to be making another shirt form my husband in McCall's M6044. So he's got a lot of um, winter style shirts but he doesn't have a lot of summer shirts in summer shirting um, fabrics. So this is going to be one of them that he'll be able to um, wear with his work slacks and uh, go to work with. So that's going to be the next one. This one, because I have made it, I think we'll be moving into double digits now. I think this might be the 10th version that I'll be making for him. I, I can whip it out in about two and a half hours because I've done it so many times now. It just comes out, you know, um, super quickly. So that's the other thing that I'm going to be um, making. And then after that, I cut out the pattern um, for my gardening uh, coveralls, which I've cut out a pattern, uh, a size that's a little bit bigger because these are going to be utility you know, trousers, but they're supposed to make me look elegant as well whilst I'm digging and working in the garden. So I'm quite keen to select the fabric um, for that. So my plan is to make two of them, uh, one for summer gardening and one for winter gardening, because um, I want something that's a bit more lightweight in summer because I sweat a lot quicker in summer when I'm out in the garden, whereas during winter, I tend to have to put on a lot more layers. So I'll probably need something that's a bit thicker in terms of fabric for the winter version. But I'm not going to be doing the winter version now. Right now, I'm going to be doing the summer version. So I'm going to have a look through my... <laughs> My fabric starts to see if I can find some linen or, you know, a linen viscose mix, but, you know, something that is also breathable. So those are the three things that I'm definitely looking to make within this coming week or so, because uh, I have actually been doing a fair amount of stuff in the sewing room, which has been really very, very exciting. And uh, hopefully you can come along for the ride and the journey and, uh, you know, turn on your notification so that when I do post out a video, when I do, you will get um, the notification as well as do subscribe and like it um, helps feed the ever evolving YouTube algorithm, which means that, um, YouTube doesn't support the channels if the channels are not getting any engagement. And one of the easiest ways to support any content creators is just, you know, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, also comment. Comments are also always, always welcome. I may not get around to responding, but I do read every single comment and it's just really lovely. And I think it's one of the things that I do miss the most is really the community, engaging with the community as much. And I just need to figure out how to juggle things around to make time um, for that. But in a really good way, as I said, I'm just really, really loving um, spending time with the kids. I mean, as a side note, I had always thought that uh, kids require more of your attention when they're really small and they're helpless and they're vulnerable, you know, when they're so tiny. So I'd always taken it, I'd always assumed that as they get older, I would have more time to myself. 
But I'm actually finding that as my kids are getting older, I just, I'm so enthralled in getting to know these little human beings. It's like they're their own little people with their own ideas about how the world works and things like that. And I do genuinely enjoy just hanging out with them and just finding out, you know, so what are you thinking? So what's what with you? You know, how, how how's things going? And, and doing that, and I really, really do enjoy doing that. And it's just, um, yeah, I, I, yeah. So I'm, I'm enjoying that. And so as a result, because you know, there's five of them, I am finding that you know, the more time that I'm spending with them, the less time that I have for them. But not in a bad way. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. And so I kind of think whenever I read those things where it's like, oh, once the kids get old, then you get just kind of a little bit like. Ah. <laughs> Really, though, they actually, uh, they're more, you know, they're very cute and adorable when they're younger. But I think that as they're getting older, they become more um, interesting to interact with, to talk with and to have conversations with. So <laughs> that's been another thing that's been um, happening in my life as well. Oh, so very quickly, the out of the vault thingy. I'm going to show you this, yeah? I'd completely forgotten about this top that I made in 2016. And I know because I actually wrote on there. And it's Macaul's M7093. And I discovered it again about six weeks ago. And I have been wearing this all the time. Mostly with my high-waisted skinny jeans. It just looks really quite nice. Or with these gingham pants that you can see in the video here. as a really banging pattern. So anyway, I've put it to the side. So I went and I pulled it out. Um, the pattern itself, first of all, to check that I still had it, <laughs> that it hadn't been cleared out or decluttered, and um, plan on making another one of these because it's actually a really, really nice and comfortable uh, top, which is a great alternative to a t-shirt and something that looks really um, smart. So yeah, highly recommend pattern from my vault, um, McCall's M7093, and we're at 21 minutes. I must go now. I will be back very soon with a video about my um it's like a media review of the bird so in patterns that i'm planning on making so i've got the patterns and the line drawings that i want to make and now i just have to pick out the fabrics and things like that and then i will do a video about that over the next few <laughs> days or so she says she says that it's sunny so the garden might be calling to me but i i am gonna try and get that um out and done before july so again thank you so much if you've watched until the end you're a rock star you absolutely absolutely rock i really do appreciate you and thank you so much for watching and until i see you next time lovelies happy sewing bye